Hello, I'm Dr. John Doyle from the Department of Anesthesia at the Cleveland Clinic, and today is October 2nd, 2006. I'm going to be talking to you for a few moments about the McGrath Video Laryngoscope, which I have here to demonstrate to you. Later on, we'll be taking you to the operating room where you'll be able to see a clip of the McGrath Video Laryngoscope in action. Here's the product. We have it in a special carrying case that you can get from Janssen Tools, um, and this consists of the laryngoscope handle, as shown here, what's called a camera stick, shown here, and there's extra batteries and accessories that I'll be introducing you to in a minute. This unit here has a 1.5 volt battery, AA uh, in size, that you can use uh, turning it on with this little button here. And to put the camera stick onto the McGrath laryngoscope, it goes introduced like this. And there is a ratcheting mechanism that you can see that allows you to adjust the position of the McGrath laryngoscope camera stick, uh, either the three or the four or the five position, depending on how big the patient is. The three position being for a smaller patient, the five position being for a larger patient. In addition, the McGrath video laryngoscope comes with disposable, sterile, single-use blade. And this blade simply clicks onto the camera stick as shown here. Then to use the laryngoscope, you turn it on and there is a little green light showing that it's on and there's only a simple on-off switch, no other adjustments are needed. And as you'll see in the video clip that we'll be showing you in a little while, you simply introduce the McGrath video laryngoscope under general anesthesia into the mouth, more or less in the midline, and then rotate it in such a way that you can get a view of the glottis. An uplifting force is not necessary. I usually put the McGrath video laryngoscope in slightly to the left to allow space for an endotracheal tube slightly to the right. So the endotracheal tube will be going in more or less in the midline. This is a sample endotracheal tube, typical uh, endotracheal tube that would be used. And it can be introduced either with a preformed rigid stylet, such as that shown here, or it can be introduced with a flexible stylet. This is the Mallinckrodt satin stylet that we use clinically and works very well. I recommend a 90 degree bend as shown here, so that when the tube goes in, it traverses the glottic aperture going through the cords, and in this position, it tends to hit the anterior tracheal wall a good deal of the time. The trick here is to advance the tube with the stylet removed by about four or five centimeters. This softens the tip and makes it relatively easy for the tube to go into the glottic aperture. Because you are intubating in a non-line-of-sight situation, you're looking around a corner, so to speak, it is necessary to have a curved, uh, curved endotracheal tube with a stylet, typically 60 to 90 degrees. And my preference is for 90, but 60 would work very well. So, this is the McGrath video laryngoscope, the little display, LCD display is shown here, the disposable uh, cover or laryngoscope blade is shown here. The camera stick, has both a light source as well as a small micro miniature color camera that displays the images here. Of interest, the, the uh, AA battery that's used for this, the single AA battery, actually lasts for quite a few cases and it's very easy to replace. Here is a sample AA battery that you can use to replace it. Simply open it up here. Let me show you how that's done. This pops out. The new battery goes in. Let me do that for you. And there we are. We are ready to roll. Okay. So let's now take a look at the use of the McGrath video laryngoscope in the operating room in the next clip. Before I close off here and show you that clip, I'll tell you that we've used the McGrath video laryngoscope in a couple of dozen cases now and we have been struck at the quality of the image that you can get 
particularly in some cases where laryngoscopy would ordinarily have been difficult. In one particular case, I was called down stat to the neuroradiology suite where a patient was combative following a stroke that he had, and he was awaiting a CT scan of his head, but was uh, disruptive and combative and needed intubation both for airway management as well as for diagnosis. When I put him to sleep with atomidate and succinylcholine, I used a regular size 4 Macintosh blade and was unable to see anything other than the epiglottis in him. Um, fortunately, I had the McGrath video laryngoscope with me and I pulled it out of my bag right away and I was able to intubate this gentleman without any difficulty. The advantage of the McGrath video laryngoscope with its small size and ease of changing blades uh, since they're uh, disposable uh, means that it can be used in remote places like neuroradiology, CT scan, MRI, uh, the endoscopy suite, and elsewhere where a difficult airway cart may not be readily available. Um, if okay, you come bent. back a little bit, can I bend more? No. If you come back with it, the blade just a little bit. Yeah, you're okay with crack right here. There you go. There we go. Come on. There. There you go. Silent, please. Okay. I'm gonna slide this right along the tongue. And then the on off it's just right here on top. I'm going to flip that on. Wow. That was And you just don't want to go too deep. So you have it on? Yeah. Okay, there you go. Oh there we go. Got the bodice. There we go. Look at that, huh? Great picture. Maybe we could get an hour. Replace the Dito. Very good. What's the advantage of that over the naked eye? Okay. No, the uh, advantage is that you get a much better view under conditions that would otherwise provide difficult for laryngoscopy. Uh, because the position of the camera straight is. Straight very close to the glottis. And you don't have to line up the oropharyngeal oh. and laryngeal axis Good. the way you do traditionally. So you can intubate in the neutral position. So getting good view is not the challenge so much as passing the endotracheal tube. Which is what my challenge is now. Yeah. You hung, hung up to say that? Right. He's breathing a little bit, I think. Okay. I think I, I mean, I'm in. It's just. You want that? Not totally. There we go. It went in once you. Yeah. Put it on. 